Hello and welcome to Precision Engines. My name is Jim Lewis and today we'll be conducting ignition timing on an R2800 CA3 radial. First step is to find compression stroke on the number one cylinder. To do this you can place your thumb over the spark plug boss and rotate the prop in the normal rotation until the air comes out. There we go. Now installing the time right housing in the number one cylinder. So we'll be using the 24B card and the letter A arm. Install your time right with the card straight up and down to the cylinder. Now we'll be zeroing out the card. We'll bring the indicator up on the dial and bring the arm slowly in the rotation of the prop to drop the indicator down to the lowest stroke. Bring the card up to zero. Now, now that we've established that, we'll go ahead and remove the distributor covers. We'll install our time right ignition lead wires. And we'll go ahead and remove the number one points lead wire on the condenser and attach the alligator clip to the condenser wire on the number one set of points. At this time your light will come on your indicator and will gently bring the arm down till the light comes off. There we go, now the light's off. We'll go ahead and apply 40 inch pounds with the 15 16 socket on your torque wrench. The light comes on the indicator and we'll gently bring the prop down in the normal rotation till the light comes off. There we go. Release the torque wrench, move the indicator up till it barely touches the arm, which uh, light will come on on the time right. There we go. Now let's go ahead and check our degree. 21. Perfect. Now we'll repeat the process on the other distributor. Apply the alligator clip to the number one set of points on the second distributor. Move your indicator arm back down away. Rotate the prop in the counterclockwise and now rotate the prop in the normal direction back down the light comes off. Perfect. Apply 40 inches of torque on your torque wrench on the top of your distributor. Bring the prop down until the light goes off. Perfect. Now let's move the indicator up to the arm where the light will come on. Now let's check our degrees. 21. Perfect. That's what we want. If you find your distributor timing to be off, for an example 16 to 17 degrees, you can refer to your timing chart. To do this, unloosen up the distributor drive nut and in the chart it indicates move four left, one right. After you've done so, retighten your distributor drive nut up to the point torque point in your cotter keyhole. And what we'll do is reinstall it in the engine on 21 degrees and then go through the timing process one more time. 